Hi Manset, it's Jui here from the West Train Kruger's Door. Please help me with this question. Thank you. Okay, great question. Thank you so much. Dewey, lovely question to end today's show off with. So let's just jump right into it. It says that 12 people were invited to a dinner party and seated around the table. Now, don't get clever and say that this is excluding the host, guys. It's 12 people, including the host. There were 12 people total at this dinner party. Question one says, if there are seven ladies, whoa, that is a terrible color on the blue. If there are seven ladies, and they are seated next to each, I'm gonna assume that's supposed to say each other. How many different ways can the ladies be seated? Okay, so remember when you have a question like this, we've been going through this the whole episode, but if you've just tuned in, that says we have this many number of this category, how many different ways can they be seated? You need to remember that this is a factorial question because remember, imagine I'm sitting here and I have two other friends with me and I want to be sat next to my friends but then there are a whole bunch of other people at this party. So we're asking how many combinations of us sitting together can that happen at this party? So if I wanna sit on the far right, and let's say Biggie wants to sit next to me, and then Caleb wants to sit next to Biggie, we have one combination. But then if those two swap, we have another combination. And then if Becky and I swap places, we have another combination. So we have a lot of different combinations of seating happening. So that's where the factorial comes in, okay? So if I sit here, there are two different options to sit there if there are three of us. Once that person sits there, there's only one option here. So we start with three options of people sitting here. That goes down to two options of people sitting next to me and one option, the leftover person at the end. So it's three multiplied by two multiplied by one. Okay, so that's where the factorial comes in. Remember factorial is saying if I have five factorial, it's five multiplied by four multiplied by three multiplied by two multiplied by one. It's just decreasing. Okay, so that's where the factorial comes in. So if all these women just want to sit together and gab at this fantastic party, we're going to have seven factorial. Okay, because we're only dealing with the number of ladies. It doesn't say if they want to sit next to each other and the rest of the guests are incorporated, it just says how many different ways can the ladies be seated and that's going to give us seven factorial so we go to our trusty calculator we say seven shift this button over here is going to give us x factorial equals and we get 5040 i know that is a very big number but that's basically saying that there are seven women and there are 5040 different ways that they would all be arranged next to each other which is completely mind blowing, but that's how the maths works. Okay. Question two says, if the guests randomly draw their seat number from a hat, how many possible ways can all the guests sit around the table? So remember all the guests, there are 12 of them. And it doesn't say that this person wants to specifically sit next to this person or anything. There's no specificity. So it is, 12 factorial because there are 12 guests. They can sit wherever they want. They're drawing their seats randomly. There are 12 factorial options. Okay. That's going to give us this massive number. Wow. 479001. And I'm pretty sure it ended with a 600. Let me double check. Okay. So this is 479 million. 1,600 ways that these 12 people can be seated around this table if they draw their seats randomly, which is absolutely mind-blowing, but maths. And lastly, it says, after the dinner party, the party separates to go home and breaks into groups of four each. Okay. They each travel in a different direction. How many different ways can the dinner guests be grouped? Okay, so this isn't saying that they have set directions that they're traveling in. Maybe they're all going to different after parties or they're all going to different people's houses to go and have tea after their party. It doesn't matter. There's no specificity about their groups. Okay, so this is where what I explained earlier, that whole choose thing comes in. So if you didn't see that question, I'm gonna quickly re-explain it. Basically, if I have n as a total number of things and m as the specific amount that i'm looking for so in this case the total is the 12 guests and m is the specific which is four groups of four basically 
the number of different ways that I can group fours out of these 12 guests is given by what is called N choose M. So it's basically saying how many different groups, or how many groups of M objects can I make out of a total of N? And that expanded is N factorial over M factorial multiplied by N minus M all factorial. Okay, so in this instance, we've got 12 choose four. So if we expand it, we get 12 factorial over four factorial multiplied by 12 minus four is eight factorial. So if we stick that into the calculator, 12 factorial, four factorial multiplied by eight factorial. And that is going to give us 495 different ways that they can be grouped in groups of four to go in their separate ways. Okay, this isn't in your matric syllabus, but it may well be in your ad math stuff and you'll get into it in university, so it can be useful. But anyway, that comes to the end of our final question for the show. Thank you so much, Dewey, for sending it through. We love hearing it from you guys. Make sure you hit us up, even if it's just to say, hi, thank you for the show. I really appreciate it.